Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to do another how-to video. Today is going to be how to clean up foggy headlight lenses. As you can see from this headlight lens here, it is very foggy. As you can see, it's, the headlight lens is very dirty. It's got loads of oxidized uh, particles in there and the headlight lens looks very dirty and does not look good on the front of the car. I've already done the other side and you can tell the difference. This lens looks so much better. And what I actually used to do this was with this kit. Um, don't ask me how to pronounce it, but it's from Halfords and I got it for 15 or 20 pounds, something like that. And basically it comes with an ointment, a spray, and two pads to wipe down the headlight lens. What we're also gonna need as well is some hot soapy water and a towel. Um, I'm using my shockwave hair gel, uh, hairspray, because I've uh, got no other bottle to use. On some cases as well, what you might wanna do is take the headlight out. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not gonna do it. Or also you as well, you wanna try and patch around the actual bodywork put some like tape around there so you don't damage it but I'm not too worried about it because this car is not old, it's not new but it's uncomfortable with what I'm doing and also as well I won't be able to do the whole headlight because of this patch here because you've got the front grille in the way but I'm not too bothered, I ain't going to move it as long as I get the areas in which the actual headlight sees which you can actually see from the front I ain't too bothered. First step is to put your soapy water on it, what you want to do is clean the headlight out first, you want to make sure you get all the grime and all the dirt off it. As you can see, it's only a little bit dirty, but not too much. So those headlights are pretty good. But sometimes they can be really dirty where I haven't been washed for ages. So next, we put the cleaning solution and the pad. What we do is we put the cleaning solution on the pad and rub it on the headlight lens. And um, we keep repeating this process in order to get rid of all the oxidization bubbles on the surface. The solution kind of breaks it down, get rid of all these oxidized trap particles, which are stuck in the headlight. I would avoid using gloves, but I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Right, so once you've done the first set of coat and you're happy with it, you then get your super water again, spray all over it, and then wipe all of it off to see the results. This is only stage one. You might have to do this a couple of times because when you're actually going over it, it's hard to tell which areas need more attention than others and what areas are done. All right, at first it's hard to tell if we actually made any progress or not, but we definitely have. Um, I'm going to go off an area now and I'm going to work on it to demonstrate to you it actually does work. It does take a bit of elbow grease, but I'll demonstrate to you now. See all this down here? We're going to try and clean that up for you and we're going to see what it looks like now. Well, I've been going at this for the last 10 minutes, as you can tell. This area is much more cleaner now. It won't be spot on. It is a bit foggy, as you can see. It's because there's still parts there. I haven't done this part yet. As you can still see, this is very bad. Um, yeah, so this part here, um, basically that's as far as I can get unless you have a power tool so it'd be much more easier and uh, now I'm just going to focus on this area here to try and get rid of all this as much as I can and then it'll be time for the final coat alright so I've been at it now for 10-20 minutes and as you can see it's now very cloudy most of the hard stuff is actually gone. The way you can tell as well is if it's actually good is putting your hands on it and seeing how smooth it is. Um, that's all smoothed there and there is a bit of rough here. As you can see there, it is a bit rough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back around this side again and then we're going to do the final coat. Now that's all done, everything's all smooth. It may not look any different to you guys but I can certainly tell the difference because it's all smooth, all the roughness is completely gone. And now what we're going to do now, we're going to put on a headlight coating. It's a spray which goes over the headlight and what it does, it basically performs a coating to stop any oxidization happen ever again. Well not ever again, basically it only lasts for about one to two years. But between that one and two years, you've got a chance to then do it again yourself before it gets that bad again. Because this one was really bad and it had took me 20 to 30 minutes to get it all cleaned down, all the roughness so it's all smooth. So now what we're going to do with the spray. You want to spray it across in drag motion. I ain't perfect at it by any means. And as you can see already, it's looking a hell of a lot better. What does require for this though is for the sun to be out and it to be dry and not raining. 
it gives it time for the coat to actually dry. It takes about half an hour for it to dry. If it's not that actually hot outside or not sunny, put the headlights on. Right now in England, I think I've got a little bit of a heat wave, so it is nice and warm, so it should dry pretty nicely. And once it's starting to dry a little bit, give it another extra couple of sprays. Be careful not to spray it too much because you can give it too much of a coat and then it'll look like it's actually got a dripping fit, like a little dripping going on from it. All right, and there we have it. That is how to make your headlight lens look so much more better. As you can see, there's hardly any oxidization around anywhere and this here was the bad area. It still isn't perfect, there's still a little bit there, but it looks a hell of a lot better than what it was. If you were to do it perfectly, you would get a power tool and actually get a proper brush or something on the end of it and actually spend a lot of time on it. I just did it for 30, 40 minutes. Um, this is just one headlight and look how much has changed. And it's also now, same as the other side. So now the car not only looks a lot better, but also if I tried to flog it, I'd probably get more money worth for my car because the headlights look better. So this has been Josh. Um, Please like and subscribe for more. Please leave comments on any ideas I could do for cars. I've done headlight bulbs, now I've done cleaning the headlights. Yeah, so please leave what I could do in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time.